Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. I am your friend Ashfaq and in today's video we will deploy node to do application on the AWS using ECR and ECS forget. Let's get started. I have created one EC2 instance on the AWS and I have accessed that EC2 instance through the putty. I will first do the sudo apt update. I will now install the AWS CLI I will now go ahead and install the docker in this EC2 instance. I will give the full access to my current user on the docker using this command. I will now reboot my EC2 instance. I will go to AWS console and I will go to IAM users add user I will give the name cloud admin Next, attach policies directly. And I will select the administrator access. I will attach this policy also. I will attach this one also this also this 
to see when I was close. I will add this policy also and I will click on next. So these are the access which we have selected for this I am user. I will now click on create user. Okay, user created. I will go to this user. Now actually I have to create the access token uh, for this user so I will go to security credentials and I will click here create access key command line interface I will check here next create access key I will now copy the public IP of the EC2 instance and I will log in through the puppy I will log in to AWS using the IAM user through the access token now. So I will give the command AWS configure and I will provide the access key which we have generated. I will put the secret access key ok login successful I have to now create the ECS cluster. I will go to AWS console and I will search here ECS. I will go to Elastic Container Service. Clusters. Create cluster. Cluster name provide here. No to do lab app. And this is my default VPC. Infrastructure I will select. I will keep AWS Fargate. I will click on create. Okay, ECS cluster has been created. Now I have to create the repository in the ECR. So on the AWS console, I will search here ECR Elastic Container Registry. Get started. Create repository public repository name. I will provide the no to do lab app a 
operating system i will select linux windows create repository I have to now clone the clone my GitHub repository on my EC2 instance. Uh, this is the GitHub repository which I have to clone. So I will copy the GitHub repository. I will go to EC2 instance and I will give the command git clone GitHub URL. And hit enter. I will go go to this repository. I will open the Docker file. So you can see here my working directory would be app and my application would be running on port 8000 I will close this file I will now go to repository created in the ECR I will click on view push commands I will copy first first command which will actually log into the ECR and I will paste that command on my EC2 instance. Login succeeded. I will now copy the second command which will actually build the image. If I give the command docker images, you can see here my image is present. I will now copy the third command which will actually tag the created image. I will now copy the fourth command which will actually push the image from my EC2 instance to the ECR repository. push completed if I go to my ECR repository so you can see here image is present image has been pushed from my EC2 instance to the ECR repository I will copy the image URL and I will go to ECS task definition create new task definition I will give the name no to do lab app container name i will give no to do lab app 
I will paste the copied URL. Container port. My application is running on port eight thousand. Next. Environment AWS Fargate operating system Linux one CPU three GB RAM next we can review all the settings of our task definition i will click on create i will now click on deploy and i will click on run task i will select my ecs cluster I will select here Fargate if I go to networking so this is my security group and actually my application is running on the port 8000 so I will have to allow the port 8000 in my security group I will go to security group so this is the security group attached to our ECS cluster edit inbound rule So you can see here port 8000 is already allowed in my security group. I will go to task definition again. I will click on create. Okay now my task is running here. I will go to create a task. I will copy the public IP. I will go to new tab and I will browse the public IP with the port 8000. And you can see my app is running. By this way, you can deploy application on the AWS using ECR and ECS Forget. Hope you find this video helpful. A lot of effort went behind this video. So do subscribe to my channel to encourage my work. Like the video, share it with the friends and spread the knowledge. I will see you in the next video. Thank you.